Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. BB&T Field is the site for this football matchup. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Colorado's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 49. I think the corner is the toughest position to play in football. You have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to stop the run. This is a big time play by a corner showing the versatility to be able to come up and be physical on the run. Game. And down he goes at the 37. Quick strike to the receiver. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. He heaves it to the end zone. He's got a touchdown. Great 
effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 71-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, and saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 7-0. Gathered in at the 6. Tackle made at the 39-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he's tackled at about the 45. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Second and 14. Ball on the 49. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. That brings us third and 14. Going deep. Tackle made around the 12-yard line. When you blitz, you're leaving your corners on an island in man coverage. And if those guys can't keep up with their man, you can give up some long completions like this one. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Bring him down at the 15. Loss of three on the play. That makes it second and 14. Demon Deacons on this wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. him hard at the 16. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Third down at 15. Ball on the 16. He's got it with room to run. He's out of bounds around the 11 yard line. The kick is up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding a new field goal right there. Wake Forest ready to kick this one off. Smith takes it at the four. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Colorado holds a four-point lead. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Get 
to that quickly. And he tackles him hard at the 40. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 40-yard line, first down. Man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Around the 43-yard line. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. First down. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Colorado is up four. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's taken down right around the 20. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. This is the eighth play of this drive. I got you, boy. Verse 22, verse 22. Tackle at the one-yard line. We're through one quarter. The Buffaloes lead it by four. That makes it first and goal. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Harris. It's a handoff to the right. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. He makes the PAT. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the 8-yard line, he's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He tackles him for a loss. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Cut. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. White awaits the snap.
He's taken down at the 27. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes it out to about the 40. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First and 10. Ball on the 40. Wants to go long and does. Doesn't get there. No one gets in the season on the play. That makes it second and 10. Zips it to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From the 38-yard line. First down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Here's an opening. And down he goes, right around the 30. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. Gain of seven yards. And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes it to the 22-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. Second and nine. Ball of the 22. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the 10th play of this drive. Going to go across the middle. Caught. And that sets them up for the first and goal. Harris brings him down at the 10-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And it's off the crossbar. No good. The Buffaloes had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Colorado lines up for the kickoff from the seven. Tackle at the 29. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. 
You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Throws a bullet. Incomplete. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. Quick strike to the back, no good. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. hit before he can go anywhere. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. Gets to about the five-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Wake Forest is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds they'll line up for the field goal and this is nothing more than a chip shot he gets it up and it's good and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff Nice kick, plenty of distance. He'll return it from the one. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Colorado's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. It's been the air game, Kirk. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a star in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more. But still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 47. How about the big fellows up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And a quick throw. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. The Buffaloes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Bounds around the 39-yard line. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 39. Going for it all to the end zone. Oh, boy, all. Intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He's at the 30. He catches another. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. He looks pretty cool back there. 
Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Fires it out. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 14-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. run and he's brought down. Touchdown Buffaloes. Three passes for touchdowns. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. And he missed it. He missed the extra point. Colorado ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Up the middle for a nice game. And that'll do it for the first half. 26-6, Buffalo. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese, these ball hawks on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Fielded at the nine. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. They'll drop in for a loss. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 27 yard line. Throws out to the running back. No good. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball. I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. That'll make it third and 13. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Set. 10 minutes. He goes downtown. 
He's tackled at the 40-yard line. the tailback brought down right around the 32 yard line that makes it second and two tackle at the 33 yard line loss of one yard on the play that'll bring up third and two Taken down around the 30-yard line. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 31. Strike and he drops it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Demon Deacons on this had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That'll be a two yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. It's like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. That's a great tackle at the 40. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. From their own 40 yard line, it's first down. That's 22 by 22. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Just throws this one away. Third down again. to go long and does. And he's tackled right away. That's a team that makes it that makes first, first and ten. ten. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Caught open field. He gets hit out of bounds around the three yard line. Call it a gain of 16 yards. 
That makes it first and goal. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And they make the stop around the seven-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. We're at play number nine of this current drive. At about the seven yard line. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. Fires quick to an open man, he dropped it. That brings us fourth and goal. The kick is up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Colorado's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. That's good for game two yards. That'll make it second to seven. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That makes it third and seven. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 21. Quick throw out to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the 36 yard line. coming. Once and all, going deep. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. That's three down and one to go. The Buffaloes Lead it by 23. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's under some heat. He wants it all. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He chucks it downfield. And he got it. About the 13. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. 
Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, offense. They'll give this one another try Still after the flag. Down. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. From the 18-yard line, third down. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Here we are, Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Mike. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Throws incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. He has some room. And he shoved out of bounds at the 39-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Man left, man left. Down, down. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's tackled at your positive yardage. Harris gets about four yards on the play. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's at midfield. Tackle made at about the 49. First down. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 44. Three down, three down. Like 22, he's coming. 22. Black five, black five. Red seven, red go. It's the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 45. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Colorado 29, Wake Forest 6. And the Wake Forest team in the end is 
that does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.